Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the TCX STR1 WP boots. TCX call these STR1 WP boots race boots, I guess because only racers should ever need toe sliders really. These boots do give race-like protection with a full-length design and TCX's torsion control system ankle braces, but I think boots like this really are great for the road. As I said, you get the same type of protection you do from a race boot, but with a waterproof membrane to keep your feet dry as well. You can wear them over leathers when it's dry, and putting a pair of waterproofs over the top of your leathers will mean your feet will stay dry too. Or you can wear these boots under textiles when it's really raining, and again, you'll still have dry feet. I've worn quite a few pairs of sporty waterproof boots like these over the years, and these ones are a decent example of the breed. I've ridden for a few hundred miles in both dry and wet weather in these boots and found them to be comfortable, well-built and reliable when the weather turns grotty. But first, let's run through the essential details and also what I thought of these boots out on the road. The uppers are made from microfiber, which is a synthetic material, and it has a smooth finish on the majority of the surface. This side of the boots, the one that faces the bike, has a more suede-like finish. It's still microfiber, but that gives better grip against the bike. And that same suede-like finish is also down the front of the boots where it gives a bit more flexibility around the joint between your foot and your leg. There's plastic reinforcement in the form of cups that protect your toes from being crushed, and it's the same around the heels. And then TCX's famed torsion control system is there to stop your ankles twisting in the wrong direction, but still giving you freedom to do important things like flexing your foot, which you'll need to do to change gear, to use the back brake, and also to walk. The plastic overlay stops your bike's gear lever from wrecking the upper, and the toe sliders are plastic with inset screws, so you should get plenty of warning before those screw heads are starting to deck out and wear through. The ground track sole on these boots is designed to give grip in all weathers, and it's also reinforced on the inside to give you good crush protection for your feet. There's plastic reinforcement at the shin, and that's TCX's choice of word, reinforcement. This guard isn't rated as CE protection. You can tell this from the label inside, which I'll get onto in a bit. That shin wrap forms part of the closure system. It's either the first part or the last part, depending on whether you're putting the boots on or whether you're taking them off. Taking it from the start, there's a relatively wide opening for your foot to go in, and then you zip it up, put the Velcro tab on the zip puller, against the panel on the boot, and then this closure secures over the top. There is a bit of range on that panel if you want them tighter to go inside textiles, and there's also a small elasticated panel to give you some stretch just there. Carrying on inside the boot, there's a T-Dry waterproof membrane. Now, TCX as a company was bought out in 2020 by Dainese, and that T-Dry name is one of the only obvious signs of the connection. Dainese's own waterproof membrane is called D-Dry, and it doesn't take too much really to see that T-Dry is a derivative of that. Now that membrane lines the boot coming up past the ankle and I found it effective when I wore these boots in the rain. I didn't get to try them in high temperatures, that was the time of year, but it was relatively warm outside and I didn't really experience any problems with sticky feet. Further down inside the boot is the footbed. It's a comfy one and it can be taken out and replaced if it loses its squish over time or if you want a thicker or thinner one to fine tune the fit. The other obvious sign of Dainese's takeover of TCX is on the label where Dainese's address is listed as the manufacturer. Now on the flip side of that label is also the CE info about these boots. They're rated to the latest standard and they meet the higher level two in three of the four tests. They're top rated for resistance to cuts and also to lateral crushing forces and also for height as they come up as high as the shin. Now they meet the basic level one of the standard in that fourth test which is resistance to abrasion. On top of that, they show the WR mark for passing the optional water resistance test within the CE standard. There are plenty of waterproof boots on the market that don't have that mark. It's not compulsory, so it's full credit to TCX for submitting their boots for that test. Now, this is where we would see an IPS or an IPA mark if either the shin or the ankle reinforcements were rated to provide impact protection. Okay, onto sizing. The STR1 WP boots come in Euro sizes 38 to 49, and here in the UK, that's 4.5 to 13.5. Helpfully, TCX give the relevant foot length in millimetres for each size, so you can put one edge of a ruler against the wall and then stand on it to get your foot length. We'll put the size info from that in the description below so you can take from that what you need. In my experience, I wear a size 9 or Euro 43 in virtually all bike boots. Occasionally I need a 44, and that was also the case with these. I could have got away with a 43, but I just had a bit more room in the 44s without them becoming too loose. Now, as I said earlier, I liked wearing these boots out on the road. They're comfortable, they're well-built, and they protect against the weather. As with some other TCX boots I've tried, I found it a bit hard to get some jeans over the top of the shin wrap. There's a protrusion on the front just here that caused a bit of difficulty. I did get various pairs of textile and denim jeans over the top in the end, but sometimes it took a bit of wiggling, and that could get a little bit frustrating, particularly if I was in a hurry. 
In terms of price as we record this, these boots have an RRP of £259.99 a pair. Now that might sound quite expensive, but when you look at the range of waterproof boots with toe sliders and decent ankle bracing like these have got, that's actually a reasonable price. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the TCX STR1 WP boots, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.